I have the right to remove people from my life who the primary thing they do is go out of their way to make people feel bad about themselves. I don't need people like that in my life. I don't really care that much how much someone goes off about whatever subject they're feeling passionate about. And however cruel they can be in, in, in the way they describe those things, I don't care. That's fine. Now, I need to insert this into this video. There are exceptions to what I'm saying here, like Durkin. When people show that they have absolutely no empathy towards entire groups of people, towards half the population, towards three quarters of the population, no empathy whatsoever, and they show they don't give a shit about anybody in the way that they talk about subjects, yeah, those are some exceptions to this. And when I see that people are like that, I'm not going to give them a chance to make me feel like shit about myself if they feel like that about so many other people. But if you're going out of your way to make someone that you supposedly care about feel like shit about themselves and you just keep doing it, I don't need you in my life. I don't need that shit in my life. Life has enough negativity in it as it is. We don't need to be trying to destroy people's self-esteem. It's taken me a long time to feel halfway decent about myself. It's taken me a long time to feel good about myself. And it's sad to me that the people that seem to make me feel the worst about myself are the people that I thought were my friends. You know, fine, disagree with me on subjects. I don't care, that's fine. Healthy debate, heated healthy debate, that's fine. But when you start going into these things where you are really trying to make me feel like shit about myself, and you keep doing it. Sorry, I don't need you. Bye bye. Bye. There's plenty of other people out there. Sometimes some of the reason why I would allow people to do that to me at all is because I really want to believe in the goodness of people. I also, I love a lot of people. For myself, I try to go out of my way. When I'm dealing with people on a personal level, I try to go out of my way to try to make the person feel good about themselves. When it comes to the way that I'm blunt about things, I usually try to find the things that I think are positive about the person and prop them up. Even if sometimes I'm hurting myself in the process, I try very hard to do that. There have, time, there have been times in my past, I can recall some, th some things like two years ago, where I've, I've slipped on that. And I've profusely apologized for it when it's happened. We all have slip-ups once in a while. But when something is really consistent... No. No. I don't need that in my life. I prefer to have the people around me that make me feel good and it is easy to make them feel good. That's a decent relationship. 
And I don't mean, you know, oh, we want to live together kind of relation. I'm just saying a relationship, you know. I love a lot of people. I love a lot of people. I'd love to just say, I love people. There have been points where I have said that. But over these past couple years, I've learned that's pretty naive. There are some really shitty people out there. And there are some people that I really shouldn't have given a third and fourth and fifth and sixth chance. I really do want to believe in the goodness of people. But when it's just shown that some of these people are just really not that great, or they're not the type of people that make me feel very good about myself, bye. Bye. Catch you later. And if someone being intense about subjects that have not a goddamn thing to do with you make you that uncomfortable that you can't be around me, yeah, that's the same thing. Bye. Catch you later. I'm not saying shit about you. I'm talking about a subject that has not a damn thing to do with you. So why are you getting all offended? That's what happened to the person I... I who dumped me as a friend earlier this week. That's what that shit was about. It's also about this idea that I'm not supposed to stand up for myself. That I'm not supposed to, when I'm in public, demand that I get treated like a human being, like the billions of other people on this planet. I'm not special. There's nothing special about me. I'm just another person. I'm a speck. I'm virtually nothing. But I do demand the respect that I think I should get as a human being. And when declaring that loses me a friend, yeah, bye. Bye. So, yeah, I don't need people in my life who go out of their way to make other people feel like shit about themselves. It's more of a sign, it's more of a, yeah, it's more of a sign that they have some self-esteem issues themselves and need to put other people down to feel better about themselves. And if that's the case, I, I really can't help them. If that's the case, and it becomes too difficult for me to be positive towards them, and for me to try to do what I can to prop them up, then there's no point in that relationship anymore. <laughs>